Yes, everybody, welcome to another underground interview. We got Zalija Tishbai with us. How you doing, man? You good? I'm steady, man. I'm good. I'm Very good. good. I'm good. AKA Zilly the Kid, AKA Zilly the Ranger. Any more AKAs, I gotta say? Mr. Leaky. <laughs> Mr. Leaky. Mr. Leaky, maybe. I don't know what you told me, man. AKA Align Vision Come as well. Yeah. We're gonna talk more about that in a bit. But um, first of all, mate, it's great to have you here. Thank, Thank you very much. Those bars were fire. Thank I was sit listening at the back and I was just like, so much vibe. Yeah. The depth of it was amazing. Thank you, man. Um, well, let's, let's start with what your name. What's your name mean? Because that's an interesting name, mm. Elijah Tishbite. Yeah, it's a lot of tish by it. So it's kind of a long one. I'm not going to lie to you. It's, 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 it's mad long. It's a thing where it's like, all right, so if I condense it, BC, before Christ, I was called mm-hmm. Jaws. Like Jaws. Right. That's another long story about connect the dots. <laughs> kind of my old lifestyle and stuff like that. Yeah, which, man. You know, the key word for today is prolific. Yeah. So it's kind of prolific in the wrong sense of getting to facts and stuff like that. But then when I gave my life to Christ, um, I couldn't be called Jaws anymore because mm-hmm. like, it, was, it was associated with too many things that weren't really like I didn't want to be associated with. No, of course, man. And people that like, searching you up and seeing two things and thinking, what's going on there? So I used to DJ mm-hmm. and I was called DJ Zelly um, as like a intermediate kind of thing. So I was thinking about it, praying, and then I really liked Elijah in the Bible as one of the people that was doing wonders, he yeah, outpaced man. the chariots, he's done a lot of things and I was like, oh, I like this guy. Yeah. But I was really called Zelly. So I just literally had a light bulb moment and was like, Zelly, Elijah, Zelly, 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 boom, it's Elijah. And he was also a Tishbite in the Bible. Mm. His um, um, tribe was called the Tishbites. So I just chucked that at the end and just done Zelly the Tishbite. Mate, that's time. sick. That's, that's a condensed sick, version though, but you know, pretty much same. You get the gist, you know what I mean? No, of course, yeah. yeah. And your bars just then, what were you chatting about in your bars? What just, oh, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's pretty much, it's like spiritual warfare. Yeah. Um, not being bound to the enemy's tactics. A um, bit of transparency in there as well. Like I said, things like, what did I say? I said, um, I fell to lust. Yeah. I did, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. I was like, damn, like, I can't. Yeah, man. They're wishing I lost it, like, they're, but they're wishing that all of the gifts that's been given, they're wishing I, that act. Nah, but because of the blood of the lamb, I've been redeemed. Mate. I'm on top, I'm still winning. Yeah. Um, Another bit of transparency in there, like, I can't cap or throw these stones. Me too, mm. I didn't put God first. And just like showing you where I'm coming from and, you know, infusing some drills. And there's a lot of, a lot of chat in there that's, the men that are gonna like as well. Mm. Hopefully, um, I said sticks and stones won't break no bones, but these scriptures burst like. Jeez. But wordplay there, so yeah. pretty much just like spiritual warfare. Where I'm coming from as a person, yeah, um, and a bit of transparency to let people know that it's not all high, rosy and perfect. We all make mistakes. Yeah. But that's the perfect thing about it. That like, even though you make mistakes, that that Christ can still bring you back to the place of worship and still keep you whole and, and effectively use you as a vessel to do his work. So yeah. that's pretty much it really. Yeah. You also mentioned during those bars as well that I noticed you were talking about back in church after COVID and stuff. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. how was that with your faith like yeah. during that time and going back to church, how did you feel in that moment? It was, do you know what? I, I missed it because I even said in the bars, I said like, I couldn't make church watched online, but it weren't the same. Yeah. The cam- like, the cameraman won't keep the pastor in frame. Like, so frustrating when you're at home <laughs> and the guy's just sleeping and he's not focusing and pastor's walked out of the frame and I'm just like, well, I can hear him, but I can't see him. Yeah. And just that disconnect from the service. Um, so going back was just amazing. So I coined the term, I said, Sunday church is back and I'm loving the way the drum is drumming. It's just, it's just lovely to be in the, in, in the house of the Lord, the place where worship's going on, the drummer's banging it off. The guitarist is getting a solo in, people are singing, yeah. you're seeing your mate you haven't seen for a long time, everyone's dancing, clapping hands, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a community, you know? Yeah, mate, so I want to go to your church, you say your guitarist coming out with a solo. Solos, all of that, it's Jeez. lit, it's proper. It's I need proper. to go to your church, bro. Come down here in London, man, it's proper. <laughs> yeah, 100, 100. It's proper. 
Um, we were saying as well earlier, just before we start the interview, you were saying about how, like, as an artist, you would define yourself as a Christian artist. Yeah. So I just like, wh- why do you decide? Because obviously you're an artist, you're a legit artist as well, like you're a good man. Yeah, so man. why why do you decide to go right? I'm I'm a Christian artist. That's what I live in it. That's my day to day. Like, if I was a trapper selling drugs and that, that's probably what I'd rap about. Because that's what I do on a day to day basis. I'm selling drugs. If mm. I was like a like a gang member doing all these crazy things, it's probably what I'll rap about as well. So the fact that church is my life, man. I'm yeah. there like Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, <laughs> part of the admin team, part of the media team. Yeah. So it's a 24 seven hour job for me really. Yeah. So uh, music and faith is kind of like one for me. Yeah. So when I'm rapping, I'm rapping about what I do yeah, on man. a day to day basis. So you'll hear a lot about church, hear a lot about the olive oil, you'll hear a lot mm. about, you know, dealing with demons and, and fighting mm. the flesh and all of these things because that's just what I live this is what I yeah, do man. so I, I feel like if I took away the Christian mm. and just started rapping then I wouldn't be being true to myself because yeah. I can dumb it down a bit and just talk about generic life experiences but I'm not going through many life experiences if I'm honest with you to <laughs> rap about it because I'm, I'm doing other things so yeah. just pretty much that's, that's pretty much it really yeah no it's sick yeah, man it it's sick yeah. so we uh, we as well we love so at underground on the channel what we love is we love a line vision right <laughs> we make honestly the videos if you don't know what it is we're going to put link in bio and this is yeah. Zelijah's project I'm going to let you talk about it like what is line vision okay so line vision <sighs> is it an alias is it I don't know uh, <laughs> an alter ego I don't know what it is but um, essentially it, it, it was birthed from a place of frustration Mm-hmm. Where as an artist, I realized that there wasn't many like visuals out there that complemented the the music. Yeah. And in the comparison to the world, when I say the world, like just like secular artists, yeah, their standards were so high. Yeah, man. And it, a lot of recognition was being, be, like a lot of light was being like, like shed on all that because mm. it's like ah, oh, we live in a day and age where it's visual based, isn't it? One hundred. No one wants to listen to MP3 alone. Yeah. So I was like, no, nah, man, something's got to change. Something's got to push. Um, but I myself was in that place of deliberation because I wanted to shoot for secular artists. Yeah, yeah. Because I wanted to make some money. <laughs> but I also wanted to glorify God in what I do. So I was on a battle for years. Like, which one should I do? Which one should I do? And in the end, I just packed it all in and said, you know what, sorry. I'm just going to do it for God and God alone. So I only work with gospel artists. I don't Mad. work with like any secular artists. And they'd be hitting me up in the DMs like, yo, see what you're doing, let's work. I'd be like, send me the song, then I hear all of this violent chat. I'm like, sorry man, hands off. Um, so a line vision was birthed from a place of frustration just to see a little bit more quality in yeah. the kingdom. And then started off working with the likes of um, In The Pool Sandu, yeah. uh, Maestro Bravest, Minister Taff, Canola. And from there, I just kind of like spiraled, like work yeah. got out and people were like, whoa, like, Zelly, you do, you do visuals? Oh, like, do you mind? And yeah. Then, yeah, give me a hundred. And then just, <laughs> and then now we're, 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 we're at where we're at. No, it's That's sick. Because so. the quality of what you're doing is like genuinely top quality. Like Dave, the videographer who's who's done all this and editing all this and everything, he was like, he was like we need to find this aligned vision guy because yeah. the quality of what he's doing. So take that as a compliment, bro. You, you're smashing it. it. Um, in terms of your Elijah Tish bite stuff or a line vision stuff, what have you got coming up like in the next year maybe or over the next period of time that we should be watching out for? So as Elijah, I know a few, <laughs> a few people are going to be like, all right, then we'll see about that. Um, <laughs> canola. Uh, I've got singles dropping all year. So yeah. like, we spoke about it before, I've got singles just bang, one after the other, just dropping all year. Couple of the music videos in the mix. Mm. It, quite, it gets quite expensive. We spoke about it in the, in the <laughs> yeah, email on the way here about. I would love to shoot more music videos, but it's got to be top tier quality mm. because I'm the one sitting there on the phone to Nate for like, get the Lambo, get the Lamborghini. <laughs> I'm on the phone to this guy saying, you need a venue. And if, I, if my video doesn't look nothing like that, yeah. when I call them again, they're going to be like, shut up. Yeah. So it's just that balance of finances. Um, but yeah, singles every month. And we have a live vision, we've got season three top up that's going to be starting and dropping in um, July. Mm. Season three for uh, top up and 
that's pretty much it, you know, for the rest of the year. I mean, Amazing. We'll see season three goes, if it goes well, we'll bang yeah. the floor and see what's going on. So we're going to put in the bio a link to Align Vision. What else should we link to? What are your socials? How can people find you? Um, I'm only on Instagram, really. Instagram mm-hmm. is just Elijah dot Tishbite, I think. <laughs> Yeah, we'll find it. We'll yeah, put it in the link either it, yeah, way. We'll yeah, find it. It's, it's in there. It's, it's in there. Just tap with the Tish by Spotify to allow the Tish by and that's pretty much where I'm, I'm at. Um, it's Star Land Vision, um, YouTube Land Vision, and maybe TikTok. Who knows, Mercy? Who knows? Who knows? Hey, but yeah, hey. that's it. That's it. Snow. Sick. Thank you very much for being with us, man. Thank it's you. been a banger. Loved having you. Thank you, man. And uh, yeah, everyone go check out Elijah Tish by Lion Vision. Uh, Zilly the Kid Zilly (laughs) Zilly the Ranger thank you very much everybody don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next week come on man